when this is one used now. The wearing of face shields is now mandatory in workplaces starting today. News 5's Jenny Donghon is joining us live from Mandaluyong to give us the latest. Jenny, how is day one of this, of this new policy going? Sean, over the weekend, the Labor and Trade Departments have issued a memorandum circular mandating the use of face shield in the workplace. This form is part of the supplemental guidelines on workplace prevention and control of COVID-19. This rainy Monday morning, employees going to their work were spotted not only wearing masks, but also face shield. Some say their company shoulders the expenses for the purchase of their face shields. However, others claim they have to buy their own. Based on the new health protocol, employees who are already reporting for work are required to wear, to wear face shield in their respective workplace. But it may be removed depending on the demands of their work, as long as they are alone in the desk or cubicle. Face shield must should also cover the entire face or should completely cover the sides and length of the face. It should extend to the ears and below the chin. A visor is not acceptable and shall not be allowed. Face shield and mask should always be worn together when interacting with colleagues, clients, and visitors. Wearing of face shield is also mandatory for workers in the tourism department. The transportation department, on the other hand, has also ordered the use of face shield in public transport transport, such as tricycles, as well as company shuttles. Sean, according to the Department of Labor, employees who will be non-compliant of the new health protocol will face charges, while businesses who will not implement or follow it will receive administrative sanctions. Sean. Thanks for that update. Jenny Dongan of News 5 joining us from Mandaluyong City. And here are other stories we're keeping our eyes on. President Duterte is set to announce today the new community quarantine classifications to be implemented in different parts of the country. Palace spokesman Harry Roque earlier said it is unlikely that the 15-day modified ECQ over Metro Manila and nearby provinces will be extended. PNP Chief Archie Gamboa denies that he held a concert party at a naval base located in Baguio City. However, Gamboa admits he had dinner with police officials where he said social distancing and health protocols were observed. And the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, or TESDA, will be offering free contact tracing tra training programs starting September. The program will be running for 15 days and will be administered through a blended distance and face-to-face -face learning. For more updates, follow News 5, The Philippine Star, and Business World Online. Visit our website, oneus.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News Live anytime, anywhere. I'm Sean Yao. We are One News.